What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about what to expect in the new upcoming Fortnite update. So, at October 4th, which means tomorrow, we're having a new Fortnite update, known as as well, the V22.10. According to some leakers that we know, the update is going to be a good one, which means we should be expecting updated cosmetics, collaborations, and for most importantly guys, new leaks about the upcoming Fortnite Mares 2022 update and pretty much as well more content all right now before the video begins i would appreciate if you guys can use code fire giver in the item shop to support me out so i can try to make my videos with you know uh better quality edited videos and also to stay consistent with the upload schedule make sure you guys will put the code back in whenever the code will be getting expired which will be happening pretty much within every two Weeks. So at first, let's just go ahead and talk about the upcoming possible collaborations. We're gonna go ahead and talk about Mouse Morals, Travis Scott, Jimmy Fallon, Ghostface, and as well as Freddy Krueger. So let's just go ahead and talk about them. At first, we got Mouse Morals. So for those of you guys who don't know that, uh, like over like a few days ago, I just made a video on this channel of me talking about the upcoming collaboration of Fortnite X Mouse Morals. With that being said, I'm not like going to be giving you guys like every single detail about these upcoming collaborations because I already made the full video of uh, these collaborations. So check out the videos guys, the link are going to be in the description below. But let's go and talk about them, just like a bit like some more information about them. So about Mass Pro, so you guys know that whenever the new season 4 Battle Pass came out, you guys know that Spider vs Gwen is in the Battle Pass. And I'm sure that you all know that, uh, you know, Spider vs Gwen and Mouse Morals were apart from the same movie. So how comes they added Gwen, but not Mouse Morals? So I'm pretty sure that Mouse Morals should be coming out in the item shop pretty soon, because as of now, we just like don't really have that uh, much information about the Mouse Morals collaboration. But of course, just keep that in mind, that if new information comes out about the Mouse Morals collaboration, I'll try to make a video for you guys. On to the next one, we got Travis Scott. So again guys, I made a video already a few days ago here on the channel to give you guys all of the details, the references about the Travis Scott collaboration. So about Travis Scott guys, at the 6th of November, he is basically going to be having a new live concert event in RL. So hopefully guys, this will be a possibility that we will be seeing the return of his set. Out on that, he is about to drop his new Utopia album. He was keep teasing about this word over and over again, especially on his Instagram account. So if you guys want to check out their Instagram account because they already have written the word Utopia in their account's bio, the description. So I'm pretty sure he's working on it and he is eventually going to be dropping the album. So since last year, so many players believe that uh, ever since Travis Scott is going to be dropping a new album, this will be as well a high possibility that we will be seeing the return of his set. All right. Now there's also another information about his set that will be possibly returning. So for more information guys, just check out the video, the full video actually, which the link of that is in the description below. Some of us as well for, uh, you know, the Mouse Morals collaboration. Now about Jimmy Fallon guys, uh, it is official that they are doing a collaboration with Fortnite because there's going to be a clip that I'm going to be showing you guys in a few seconds of him giving us more details about uh, the collaboration of Fortnite X Jimmy Fallon. Let me show you guys. Wednesday night, Wednesday. something very exciting is going down. We're taking The Tonight Show into Fortnite. Ooh. That's right. We've teamed up with Samsung to do this. Uh, it's called Tonight at the Rock, powered by Samsung Galaxy. It's a gaming experience you can play in Fortnite. Uh, we recreated everything. Rockefeller Center, the 30 Rock building, our offices, every little detail of the studio. It's like you're right here. And the attention to detail is pretty mind-blowing. Uh, you can explore around. There's all these mini games you can play, games we play on The Tonight Show, and games that we made just for Fortnite with Samsung Galaxy Power Boost. It's really cool. Uh, we're very excited about that. So call all your friends around the world and start playing. Tune into the show Wednesday night, and thank you to Fortnite. So about the Jimmy Fallon collaboration, I just want to clarify something. The stuff that they've mentioned about are basically not in the game yet because there's going to be a creative map where you guys can try to like complete some challenges so you guys can receive free XP and more free rewards. But like I said, those stuff are not in the game yet. So don't waste your time, all right? And we just like don't really have that much information about the collaboration. I mean, he confirmed that they are collaborating with Fortnite, but hopefully when the new update comes out tomorrow, we'll be getting some new information about the Jimmy Fallon collaboration with the Fortnite, okay? We're gonna go and talk about as well some more stuff that includes Aya Nakamura, Stranger Things, and 
as well as Ghostface and Freddy Krueger collaboration. Now let's just go ahead and talk about, about these two uh, popular uh, Halloween characters first. So you guys can see here, that is the official teaser of the upcoming Fortnite Mares update. It says, this is the season of screams, bad dreams and all monstrous things Fortnite Mares will return on October 18th, which of course that is official. So the entire community believes that the word screams describes Ghostface and the words bad dreams describes Freddy Krueger. So hopefully guys, this will be true. For more information about the upcoming Fortnite Mares 2022 update, check out the full video. I will leave the link in the description below. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about as well three more collaborations. We got Aya Nakamura, Stranger Things, and as well as Goat Simulator 3. About Aya Nakamura, that is confirmed because we already have seen the trailer, you guys already know. So your favorite emote, the Copinus, is officially coming out in the item shop at the 5th of October, pretty much which means at Wednesday, right? And the next day, the 6th of October, that is going to be the official date where the uh, event will be taking place at. Pretty much in uh, creative, known as, as well, the new Soundwave series event. So there are going to be basically two free rewards for everyone, that includes a spray and as well as a loading screen. In order for you guys to receive those rewards, you will basically have to participate to the event and I believe complete some specific challenges. We're going to go and talk about as well the Stranger Things collaboration guys, about that that is not confirmed and I gotta say this might not ever happen because unfortunately like uh, a few months ago Netflix officially announced that they are cancelling their deal with Fortnite. Pretty much I'm gonna say Epic Games. So this makes sense that we'll probably not seeing the return of the Stranger Things cosmetics within any time soon. I already made a video on this, so we talked about the end of the collaboration a few months ago. So yeah, do I make your hopes up that they'll be bringing back the Stranger Things cosmetics or they'll be ever collaborating with the Stranger Things because Netflix already, you know, uh, cancelled their deal with Fortnite so you have to say now that we will probably not see the return of the Stranger Things cosmetics unfortunately so I guess they are going to be staying uh, rare. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the Fortnite X Goat Simulator 3 collaboration. So a few days ago a new goat skin just got decrypted in the files which you guys can now get the skin. In order to get the skin you guys basically have to pre-order the new upcoming Goat Simulator 3 game. You guys can pre-order the game by hopping in the epicgames.com website. I believe it's like around $20 or $23, it just depends on your country's currency. But what I'm trying to say is that as of now is exclusive because um, like we just don't really have a information about the official release date of this skin coming in the item shop. So as of now guys, it's just exclusive skin. To get the skin, like I said, just pre-order the uh, game, the old simulator 3, because the game is officially releasing around November. So those are going to be the stuff that I just want to talk about in today's video. Of course, like I said, that not all of these are confirmed, but uh, since we've got information about these before, I just wanted to talk about them because you never know what will happen in tomorrow's new update, you know, the B22.10. So yeah, tomorrow guys, we're having an update like I said, so expect a video of me showing you guys everything new with the update, so stay tuned. And uh, I'm pretty sure that they are going to be updating as well cosmetics. Hopefully they'll be updating rare stuff, rare emotes such as the Sprinkler and TSSS because those two emotes are pretty much Halloween emotes. So if they want to get updated in tomorrow's update, I'm pretty sure that Fortnite are going to be updating these two emotes whenever the new Fortnite Mares 2022 update comes out because it's all about the Halloween stuff, you know, the Halloween contents and it actually makes sense. So I'll be trying to make a video soon, I'll be talking about the return of TSSS and the Sprinkler emote, so stay tuned. And I'm also thinking about to make a video soon as well of me showing you guys and talking about the rarest Halloween cosmetics in Fortnite, that includes like the emote, the skins, you know. So I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a good one and you guys would love to watch it. That's much to be for the video, thank you guys for watching. Lastly guys, I just want to let everyone know that there might be a new weapon coming out in tomorrow's update known as the Cobra uh, DMR. As you guys can see, here's how the Cobra DMR looks like, so it'll be coming out hopefully in tomorrow's update. And we have as well some new details about it, so shout out goes to Hypex. It says, upcoming Cobra DMR weapon, damage in rarity order 32, 33, 35, 37, 39, 40, nearly 15, less than normal DMR. 20 clip size, 10 more than normal DMR, times 1.6 faster fire rate than normal DMR, 1 second longer reload, 
time than normal DMR. Slightly more recoil than normal DMR. Also, Fortnite are officially collaborating with FIFA World Cup. Again, shout goes to Hypex. It says Epic added World Cup BR challenges that grant 26k XP each for this season. There's also a high chance that we will be seeing the return of the Guided Missile. It says Fortnite not only added back most of the Guided Missile stuff, but they also updated the sound and idle the slash reload animations and effects. So there is a high possibility for a return this or next season. So apparently guys, there are new items that are coming pretty soon. Again, shout goes to Hypex. So we got Grapple Glider, Explosive Goo Gun, Throwable Launchpad and Supply Drop Radio. So the Goo Gun, it is going to be this weapon you guys can see, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be overpowered. And for the last information, there's a possibility that we will be seeing the collaboration of Luke Skywalker, an iconic a Star Wars character. So it says, upcoming Star Wars event, Fortnite added new chest this season that only dropped Luke Skywalker's lightsabers, which means he's most likely releasing this season, here's the chest loot. It says, one Luke's green lightsaber, one Luke's blue lightsaber, and one medkit, and three minis. And here is Luke Skywalker, as all can see. With that being said, if you guys did find the video helpful, drop a like, share, and be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or if you guys are excited for the update or if you guys think that uh, if there are any other information that I missed, just feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow's video, and yeah, take care.